Just like Timber, Kimber falls hard. And another thing, karma. It is karma, and people say you are what you eat. But in this scenario, it's more of a case of you are the lies that you spew because she accused Nash Carter of being this and that. And it turns out she is the violent one. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling for an update. Yes, I say an update on the Kimberly legal proceedings. So for those of you that don't know, we made a video about a year ago now. It was after Stand and Deliver. I believe it's like almost a year and a half ago. Yeah, it probably is. A year and a half 18 ago. 18 months ago. Nash Carter won the tag team title six days later after he filed for divorce or whatnot. Kimberly came out, accused him of being all these domestic, abusive, whatever. Um, she was using like old pictures from like matches where she'd received a black eye and she was posting it as if it was recent. And then she was like putting makeup on her face to make it look like she'd been attacked, even though these pictures you could identify from like um, previous offence. Then we had Wes Lee's wife come out and, and she was backing Nash Carter saying that she's lying and she knows she's even admitted that she's lying and all this stuff and eventually it kind of just got thrown under the bus and we were coming off a period where it was believe all women so Nash Carter didn't get a fair trial. What really screwed him was the fact they had a Nazi salute on his phone and Kimberly posted that. I mean... You don't know the context behind it. He could have been posing as Hitler and saying, well, look at this, Hitler's a dick. It could have been. I mean, it could have been anything. It literally could have been anything. That's what I mean. Like, he did it, but he could have been mocking Hitler for a while. Now. But we don't know. She posted that. She got him fired. She ruined his WWE career. She was seen as a victim. But eventually, truth came out that she was just a bullshit liar. Then she went on a mental breakdown and deleted all her social media. But because she's a woman, she kind of got saved and she was allowed to stay in the wrestling bubble. But fast forward to May 11, and she was involved in an incident with several police officers officers where she got pulled over for drinking under influence. Now I know the Hardys have done this and there's been a few wrestlers that have done this but normally when Jeff Hardy does this he kind of just accepts it, gets out the car and tries to walk in a straight line. And does not walk in a straight line, he walks in a zigzaggy ball ba ball line. <laughs> but that's not what Kimberly done, she got out the car and then all these things she accused Nash Carter of being this violent, um, physical, threatening person, that's exactly what she done on a police officer and she has been charged with DUI resisting an officer with violence and battery on a law enforcement officer so it seems like she's resisted the arrest with violence and then also went on to lay in it's like she's used violence in a defensive way but then went Bottom. on to use it in an offensive way offensive way yes yeah. so I mean it's a triple whammy there DUI Offensive, so, defensive, defensive position. Now, I don't know, we don't have any video footage on this, but what it sounds like to me is that the officers tried to place her under arrest. She struck out at the officer, maybe knocked him down, and then from that period on continued to put the boot in or something like that, or just kept this onslaught going. That's what it sounds like. So her pre-trial hearing is going to be on November 28th at half eight in the morning. She's going to have to get up early that day in order to make it to court on time. Uh, Kimberly has entered a plea of not guilty to all the charges on July 7th, which was the same day she was formally charged. She chose to waive her right to a speedy trial and request a public defender, explaining in court documents that she currently lacks the financial means to hire her own defence attorney. Her request for a public defender was approved and I mean I guess that's what happens when you spend the bulk of your career in Impact Wrestling you can't afford anything let alone a fucking <laughs> uh, a, a, you know a defender yeah a lawyer you know a defence attorney that is the one we're better call for. Saul better call Saul As lawyers and def the fucking ripoffs. Why would you? I mean, obviously, your like your own one's better than the public guy, but but no, I don't get. Like, she's obviously going to be on camera here. <laughs> There's not a lot a lawyer can do. Yeah, let's see with these DUIs and you know battery of officers. Usually, that's a slam dunk. It's almost like why would you not plead to guilty? Yeah, and get a lesser sentence. But, I mean, is Kimberly doing what she's done in the past? Just not taking responsibility for her actions? I mean, she could have came out pretty early. After all that shite she said about Nash Carter, she could have came out and, and took it back, retracted her statement. But she doubled down. And that seems to be what she's doing here. Instead of just admitting to what she's done, she's doubled. I was wrong. You know, she's doubled down and now she's trying to get out of it, pleading not guilty. And 
I mean, I can't imagine this is going to work for Kimberly. I don't think she's quite going to get the same sentence as Sonny could be getting. No more sunny days for the nope, WWE Hall the, of Famer. It'll be fucking prison days. Sunny's currently set for 20 years, I think, but I think she's pleading guilty to try and get a lesser sentence. So she might get 10, but she's uh, still a shitload of time. I should be dead by then. Can't really see much. I mean, well, to be fair, there's probably more chance of Sonny surviving inside prison. See here, though, are we, are we looking at j proper jail time? Yeah, I, I would say a couple of years at least, no? Or... Mm, it depends I... how bad the battery is, but you know, you, you but you've pleaded not not guilty. Yet. That's going to affect it. Yeah, so I think if she's found guilty, she will definitely do. I would say a couple of years, eighteen months, something along those lines. Fourteen months. But yeah, Good behaviour. What a horrible person. Even you look at Kimberly, you can tell this is someone that is obviously not right in the head. Just a, a liberal freak show bastard, really. So, yeah. Um, and I think Nash Carter... C-U-N-T. I think Nash Carter... Uh, C-U-N-T? Cunt. Oh, I Yeah, I think... <laughs> can he spell? I think Nash Carter dodged a bullet here. Nah, he did dodge the bullet. And, uh, she was Kimberly was lucky she didn't have to dodge any bullets when she was attacking the police officers. Um, hopefully by the signs of it, he didn't lose all his... Fucking earnings and monies to her in the divorce, so... I hope not. Like, we did lose his WWE career, which kind of sucked. Ah, well, he's, I'm sure he's some... Where is he? TNA? I think so. Maybe one day he can come back. That's anyway, a, guys. a bit worse than death, actually, so... Kimberly fucking... Because you can't kill TNA. <laughs> TNA! TNA will never die. Till next time. Peace.